Welcome to another debate team, everybody. Today we're discussing who's the best team in MLS. Right now we're about a quarter of the way, maybe a third of the way through the season, depending on which team you're looking at, how many games they've played. And there are two undefeated teams still in MLS. The Columbus Crew, having beaten New York on Thursday night, now go to 5-0-2. And the Los Angeles Galaxy, the runaway leaders in the league right now at 8-0-2 after a 1-0 win in Dallas. Guys, Obviously, these are the two we're going to talk about. Simon, I know you have, this is just a done deal for you, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think it's so obvious that it's L.A. by, by and far, you know, best player in the league, the top scorer, the best coach, the best defense. I mean, the, it's, I think it's just uh, a blowout. That best, Galaxy the best player the in the best league team. is not there now. Right, they're not right. there, but look at the lead they have, 26 points. You know, undefeated. Simon, the only reason that they're that far ahead of the Columbus crew is that they've played three more games than the crew. The crew basically have the same record, assuming they win their games. Now, again, you can't assume that they're going to win their games, but the crew are undefeated, right? They have two road draws so far. That's it. That's the only blemish on their Jason, record. Jason, you're going by math, too, there. Did you watch the crew games? Yes. How many of them did they need a last-minute penalty kick to, to get through? Did they earn a the last-minute penalty? And how about Chivas USA last week? I mean, the, the crew... They've played their fair share of good soccer, but they've looked the most shaky in their games. Galaxy, solid. The Galaxy started hot, and where have the Galaxy gone since then? Buttle stopped scoring. They, yeah, they won this game in Dallas, but they've had a couple games where they've struggled to score, struggled to generate offense in the last few weeks. Three of those wins are 1-0 wins, right? Which, okay, if you're going to say that they've been overpowering, which I don't think they have been, the Galaxy have not been overpowering. They have dominated those games, but I would argue that Columbus, as you're saying, they get those last-minute wins and all that. They have dominated their games in a similar way, in a very smart, sophisticated uh, style of play that I've seen. From they the were on the ropes against Chivas USA first, last week. Columbus were on the ropes, one. Two... Hesmer made a big mistake in the game against the, the, the Red Bulls, which could have get, allowed the Red Bulls to get back in that game. The, the, the Galaxy don't do those things. The Galaxy, in the game against Dallas, they got the goal, and let's be honest, Dallas did not look dangerous at all. There was no point in that game where you Simon, really your felt. boy, Breck Shea, had a chance to tie the game and should have done better on that. So of, sure. of all the things, you should be able to admit that they ha that the Galaxy have shown weaknesses. They look no, like a team no. that can be beat. Do you, do you and no, I when disagree. When these teams no. match do up. The, do the Galaxy these... have any weaknesses at all that you see? I, I, if, they, if they go down a goal, that's what I would like to see. If they do go down a goal, how they react. That would be the only thing that would get me nervous. Which they they haven't seen yet. Wait, they have to chase the game. Right. It's a weakness that we haven't, haven't even seen yet. Simon, that's Which good. goes to my point that they have been as perfect a team as you can have Simon, right how now. about age? How about age being a weakness for the Galaxy? Because over the course of this season, a long MLS season, and not only that, but playing in Champions League as well, this Galaxy team is going to have to play their entire roster. And they're going to have times where they're going to struggle with injuries. Donovan Ricketts so, has but shown the, he's a guy who can... But, that, but that's, the this, that's, that also holds for true team. for the Columbus crew. Why it doesn't hold true for Columbus is because Columbus's depth is better. Columbus is better off the bench than the Galaxy are. And I, I stand by that. Guys like, you agree with me, I know on this. Guys like Renteria coming off the bench, Jen Zayner coming off the bench. They have players, Eric Bruner, Andy Iro, who can come off the bench, make an impact, it's and comparable. Ekbo. Alan Gordon, Jovan Korofsky, Clint Mathis. These are guys that are... That, that, that have done nothing. The only, thing, the only thing the any of those guys has done recently is Jovan Korofsky hit a ball hard at Casey Keller, and Casey Keller misplayed it for a goal. Don't discount the professional track record of these guys, please. They, these are pr proven professionals. They know how to contribute in a game. They know how to do their job. And Bruce Arena, all he asks of his guys, do your job on the field. If, and if they know how to do it. Their right. job is to score with Landon Donovan away. I, I don't know that that really is going to happen. Scored. They scored. Yes, they scored. Yes, yeah, they right. scored against Dallas. They got on. it done. They did. They got on the goal. To this day. The only the offense they created was that one play. That's all I'm saying. To this day, if you look at results... There's nothing you can point at with the Galaxy as to a weakness. There's nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm, we're talking about the span of an entire season here, Simon. No, you're, so we're playing Nostradamus now. Where's your crystal ball? I mean, forget about that. We have games. We have 10 games that the Galaxy have played. They've played a third of their season. Where have the weaknesses been? There, there, I agree with you on that one. However, let me say this. Columbus and Los Angeles play each other next week. All right? yep. Columbus, in the meantime, they will play Kansas City on Sunday. In Kansas City. Right? They get Guillermo Barros Coloto back. 
They didn't have him against New York. And I think that he is a factor that maybe takes Columbus up and over the Los Angeles Galaxy. Columbus have not had a chance, number one. First of all, and this goes back to your point. They haven't had a chance to, to play their 10 games. They've only played seven so far. So if they had played 10, and let's say they came out 8-0-2, oh, right? who would you say is the better team? Now, I, can't, I understand that's a total hypothetical. right? We can't say that. Getting Scalotto back, to me, he is such a game changer. And I agree that Landon Donovan is as well. right? I would put those two as comparable game changers in this, in, at this point. But you're looking at individuals. I'm looking at the team. As a unit. Hang on, hang on. Because before, as a unit, yes, the Galaxy. As a unit, as a unit the, the Columbus crew, I agree. They've been fantastic. Mm -hmm. right? But as a unit, the Columbus crew have as well. Despite those tight games that they have been in, they have eked them out. They've gotten the results. On the ropes against the Revolution? And, and they, we didn't so mention what? that game. But so what? But so what? They got On the results. On the ropes, but getting the results. the results. And that's the mark of a good team. And this because season... Because we have seen them. You said, as you said, that weakness. We haven't seen Los Angeles when they're down a goal. When they're on the ropes, if you will. Right? Sure. We have seen that from Columbus. Right? right? And they have come through. To I'm, get the results. I'm going to point to Columbus's experience also here. Their experience last year in going out in the first round of the playoffs. Their experience last year in playing in Champions League. All that stuff is going to add to Columbus being the better team over the course of this entire season. And when it comes to the end of the season, Columbus is going to be the team who's still going at the end. All I, all I can say, the Achilles heel on Columbus, the goalkeeper, Will Hesmer. Yeah, there have been several points yeah. where he has a good game and then he just messes it up. With an inexplicable, he's a place. very good goalkeeper. But if we're in this comparison between Los Angeles and Columbus, right, and I you compare argue. Ricketts and Hesmer, right. there's no argument there. I right? can't argue, and I would Columbus give Columbus is I would, good. They're not as perfect. I would give it as, as a whole. As I would give it as a whole for the LA Galaxy. Their goalkeeping situation is much better. And Ricketts as a starter and Saunders as a backup is a much better situation than Columbus has. That said, I believe in Columbus's defense. I think Columbus has more consistency in their attack and more options in their attack than the Galaxy, who, when Donovan's there, are going to rely on Donovan and Buttle and Donovan and Buttle. And let me remind you, Buttle has this hot start, but he's cooled off as of late. And remember his hot start a couple seasons ago, where he cooled off for the entire second half of the season. So to me, the LA Galaxy has a, a few more question marks than the Columbus crew going into the rest of the season. You're not answering uh, the question of this debate, though. Who is the best team in MLS today? You keep wanting to project. If you, if you want to say it today, I would say it's probably neither of these teams because both oh, teams are who missing is? all who their is? best players. Come on. Come on. Then who is? Who is? Real Salt Lake. Oh. oh. Real Salt Lake right now, today, <laughs> Simon just had a heart right heart now, today, <laughs> they are a better team, Simon, than the Galaxy without Donovan and Buttle and with the crew without Rodgers and Marshall. And uh, to they, me, they, to they, me they, the debate is who's going to – Take this season. Who's the best team this season? That's why I'm saying over the course of the entire year, Columbus is the best team. I don't. <laughs> we're speechless on that one. I don't. I don't know. So he has the Galaxy, Columbus, and Salt Lake all being great. The great teams. No, no, but he has Salt Lake up above. You put in the up wrong above order. as well. It's yeah. Salt Lake, and then I don't know Galaxy, I, I, Columbus. I, I, I don't. I, I, really. <laughs> well, again, another debate team. Um, Jason has, has had his say in that one. Simon, of course, is uh, about to blow a gasket over here. And probably when that camera turns off, he's going to hit Jason or something like that. Join us again for some more debate teams from the U.S. national team. We'll actually be live at the uh, stadium out in Hartford ahead of the Czech Republic game.